In Forza Horizon 5, there's two ways of doing everything, the right way and the wrong way. And there are some things which you may well have been doing the wrong way. So here are five things you might be doing wrong in Forza Horizon 5. Let's get into the video. Many players just keep the throttle pinned to the floor when going through corners and use the wall to take them round, otherwise known as wall riding. Some people even think that this is the quickest way to get round a corner, but these people couldn't be more wrong. Wall riding not only is just a bit stupid, but also you in fact lose time on the exit of corners by wall riding because it's just longer before you can start properly accelerating out of the corner. So just simply learn how to use the brakes and take the corner normally. Forza Fun challenges where you have to win a particular type of race are very common. Now lots of people would just go to a random race and waste loads of their precious time by completing the whole thing, but there's really no need to do this. All you need to do is just find a short circuit, create a custom blueprint, and then set it so you can use any car, that way you can use the same blueprint next time you try this trick, and then go to the event settings and set it to just one lap. Then publish this event and then you just need to simply complete one lap and then you will have completed the challenge on to the next one. So you want to black out your car. This is where lots of players would just go straight in and paint all parts of their car black and then be done with it. But this is the wrong way of doing it. What you need to do is select chrome, then tint the brightness all the way down to 0.00. .00. Then save that to your car and head over to apply decals. Select black and make sure the decal covers the whole panel of your car. Then press the button with the three lines on your Xbox controller and change the vinyl material to matte. Once you've done this, copy this decal and paste it to all other body panels of your car and now you have the blackest black possible. If your reason for painting your car black is just to make it look good, then this colour is probably not the most aesthetically pleasing. However, if you want your car to be black so you blend in well to the surrounding environments when playing hide and seek, then this is the right thing to do. If you're always mixing and matching different brands of bumpers and side skirts, then stop it, you're doing it wrong. Because you will end up with a car that just doesn't look right, and the lines from the different bumpers will just not line up, and yeah, you just end up with a car that looks really odd, and yeah, it's just the wrong thing to do, so don't do it. If you're always using the most OP car on every type of racing, then you're just limiting yourself of so much fun. Not only does it just get really, really boring, but also that one OP car is not the only car that can be competitive for that type of racing. No matter what type of racing you're doing, there's always multiple cars that can fight for the race win. So you really don't have to use that very same OP car every single time. And as you can see here, I even managed to get a victory in A-class road racing without using the almighty bone shaker. So that just really proves my point. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you were guilty of doing any of these things wrong, then be sure to let us know in the comments down below. Like always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Forza Horizon 5 content, and of course, I'll see you in the next video.